so I'm back with some holiday inspiration for you guys and I'm going to be creating this half up top knot. I know my page is like all half up top knots but this one's different I promise and I have a little hack to show you guys how to do it really quick and easy and it's going to be using Numi Style. It's their Scarlet Straightener. It's very festive. It's red so it's perfect just in time for the holidays. So I'm going to show you guys a really quick technique. Um, to create a kind of jumbo large half up top knot and this hair straightener is so easy to create all these different techniques with so it heats up really really quickly and it's top notch tourmaline ceramic is basically what you always want to look for when you're looking for heat tools it's one of the best technologies that's out right now so I was able to achieve tons of shine texture movement and volume utilizing this straightener so we're gonna start by creating a triangle parting on the top of your head as always Comb it back nice and smooth and just secure it into place with a hair tie and hold the hair tie at the base and pull up a little bit just to create a little bit of volume if you like. And now I'm going to grab my new Me Scarlet Straightener and while the straightener is off, you're going to wrap it around your ends and roll the ponytail all the way up to the base. Once you get to the base, hold the bun securely with your hand and slowly slide the straightener off and you're going to end up with this round bun. And then you're just going to stick your finger inside and hold it into place on the base and secure it with two bobby pins. So once it's secure, you can fan it open and get some texture into the bun because you don't want it to be a perfect round smooth thing on the top of your head. You want to add some texture in there. And then just fan it open and secure it on the sides using hair pins and you only need one on each side. Once that's secure, we can start to create some texture on the remaining hair. So I'm starting by spraying my hair with a thermal protector and I'm being very generous with it. For the roller set, you're going to use your straightener as a guide for how big your sections should be. Then you're gonna take the section and wrap it around the straightener and roll it up to the base of the section. Hold it into place for just a few minutes and pinch the center and slowly slide the straightener out. And then you're going to secure it into place using a duckbill clamp or any clip. This technique basically helps your curls to last longer. So I'm going to be setting the curls in place where I run my fingers through my hair the most. So that's around my face and on the top of my head. This straightener heats up really quickly and one pass is basically all you need to set your curl into place and it's tug free so you can easily just slide it out of the section and pin it into place. And you can take your time with this. You're not going to get it the first time, but because you're clamping the section in between the two tourmaline ceramic blades, it makes it a little bit easier to gain control of the section because the blades are basically holding the section into place. And they're not just coated or infused, they're actually pure tourmaline ceramic plates, which means they're the best quality and they're going to last for years. And now for this back section here, you're going to want to pull it forward because this allows the root to go opposite direction of where it's going to fall. So that's going to give you the maximum amount of volume. So you're going to do the same exact thing. Just roll it all the way back to the base, slowly slide it out and clip it into place. And as you can see, I'm just setting the curls around the ponytail top knot that I just created. And that's the only areas that I'm going to set my curls. For the rest of my hair, I'm going to create some ribbon curls. And because this flat iron is tug free, it's just easily gliding down my hair. And it, look at that shine. It's giving me like the nicest shine and bounce in my hair. Because this ribboning technique is so nice and quick, you only need to pass the hair only once and it sets your curl into place and it lasts for days. So it's a lot less damaging to curl your hair this way because it's just one shot and it's done. And these curls lasted me pretty much until the next time I shampooed my hair, which is about once a week. And since it ain't the 70s, we're gonna brush these out. And now that I'm done curling the bottom of my hair, that's kind of enough time to set the curls up top. You can leave it in longer if you have like really fine hair, but it should be plenty of time to set these curls into place. And you're just gonna drop the curls and run your fingers through them. And it'll blend in with the rest. So as you play with your hair throughout the night, these curls around your face are a little bit more secure and it'll last you nice and long. 
So at this point you can brush your curls out or you can run your fingers through them, shake them out until you achieve whatever texture it is that you're after. And I'm just gonna quickly share this really easy technique with you guys to get a little bit of extra volume on your rooted area. And you can really only do this technique with a straightener that has rounded edges. And this one is nice and small, so I'm easily able to like flip little areas that I want to create custom texture. So I'm just folding it at the root to create a little bit of extra volume and just finishing it off with my favorite texturizing spray. And we're done. I really hope you guys enjoyed my little bun hack. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in this Numi Scarlet Straightener, it's available online at Target. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me your comments below. This video was in collaboration with Numi Hair.